My relationship with plastic surgery is actually amazing. I spent $20,000 for my 30th birthday. I got my lips, the cheeks, and my nose. That I wanted to be more no. simple about no. no, that one we're not doing. Why? I am not touching your nose. I cannot let anymore. you overdo it. So my mom and my brother's coming over and I have no clue that I got my whole face redone and they have no clue that I got my boobs done for the fourth time. Hey guys, hey mommy. Oh my God, are you kidding me? She needs a doctor, yes or no? Yeah. Therapist? Yes. I had a very rough year. I just lost my boyfriend to murder. I feel like this is how I cope. Just getting fillers, tattoos, piercings. It makes me feel better. I'm just trying to be strong because it's hard. It's hard, it's really hard. My name is Nicole Zavala and I am from New York, but I live in Miami. I'm a reality star on Cartel Crew on VH1. I've been on three seasons already. When people first see me, they think, oh, she's stuck up. Oh, she has an attitude or her personality might be whack. I would like people to know that I actually have a good heart. I'm very, very humble. Even being on TV, even before and after TV, nothing has changed me. I've been the same person. I don't think that I'm, I'm bigger than anybody else. You know, I treat everybody the same and that's just always been me. I'm never gonna change. My relationship with plastic surgery is actually amazing. I just want to go more and more and more. Like, I love fillers, I love my lips. I think I've spent over 150K over plastic surgery, almost 175K. I'm definitely addicted to plastic surgery. I like to change my appearance all the time. I like to look more fake. I get all sorts of comments on my looks. Sometimes I'll be like, you look like a brat though, you look like a Barbie, you look like a blow up fish, cause of my lips. Honestly, when people give me negative comments, I really laugh. I'll see a comment and I'll block them. I don't care what anybody thinks. You know, you're not paying my bills, you're not paying for my plastic surgery. If you don't like it, don't go on my page. My latest procedure that I have done for my 30th birthday is another boob job. I want it to look like more like basketball. Just sitting there, I just wanted to sit. I went bigger, I think it was like $8,000 I spent on my boobs. And then with the fillers, I got my fillers done. 20,000 for my 30th birthday. And I spent it real good. Today I'm gonna meet up with my friend, with my bestie. We're gonna go get fillers together. She's just like me. She loves yes. to get fillers on her face. She does the same thing I do. The nose, the cheeks, the lips. I mean, this is my girl. So. And why not? Like we do everything else together. Just see me. What are we here for today? Fillers. Everything. Let's get things going. Okay, okay. let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I wanna get my lips, you know, a little. A little touch up right here because you know I like it to look more um pouty pouty yeah ooh the cheeks I want it to look more snatched I know? know you like it chiseled so yes. and my nose that I want it to be more no. Tinko Bell nose no that one we're not doing because we have to keep it natural why I am not touching your you nose I cannot to. let you overdo it your nose looks perfectly fine I'm not letting you do that. Okay. We're gonna get you chiseled. Let me introduce okay. you to Katrina. She is Maybe. my aesthetic nurse practitioner and she's gonna get you that look that you okay. want. We are outside tonight, baby. I love it, I can't wait. Oh my gosh, we're gonna look so good. Girl, you know this always makes me feel better. I mean, you know. You've been through so much, babe. You deserve it. We're gonna we're gonna party. We're gonna live it up. Yes, this is are. your weekend, babe. I know that self care makes you feel better. Yeah. And you look beautiful. And when you look beautiful, you feel beautiful. I you know? know. But I do miss him. I miss him too. So I had a very rough year. Um, you know, I just lost my boyfriend um, five months ago. You know, three year relationship with him um, to murder. This is the portrait that I did of my boyfriend. His real name is Demetrius, but everybody knows him as Meech. So Demetrius, legends live forever because it's true, he really was a legend in my life and to a lot of people. So this day, I don't understand why they took him away like that. You know, such a beautiful person, such a good person. That's probably been like the best relationship I had in my entire life. I feel like he's always with me every day, you know, and it's just something that I gotta like deal with because it's hard it's hard losing somebody just like that but i'm trying i'm trying and you know like and i know he's with me and i know he wants me to do good and i'm just trying to be strong because it's hard it's hard it's really hard 
I've been talking to the therapist every week because it's like, it's, it's just crazy. But, you know, I'm hanging in there and I'm taking it day by day. But, you know, self-care, all this makes me happy. So I don't have to really, like, think about it so much. Grief is something really serious. I'm just now getting up and trying to make myself feel beautiful. I was stuck home for two months. I was just looking at the wall, like, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to cope with it. I didn't want to talk to nobody. I fell into a deep depression. What has helped me um, grieve about my boyfriend, um, you know, I was around with a lot of his friends, you know, or his friends check up on me. So having the support of them makes me feel um, a little better. My advice that I give to people that have lost their loved ones, talk to a therapist. It's been helping me a lot. And you know, just have all your loved ones, you know, be surrounded with love. I never really spoke about my relationship on social media. You know, he was just a very private person and that's something in my life that I wanted to keep very, very private. But as soon as my boyfriend passed away, I started posting him and everybody was like, oh, she got a man, where she got a man? Oh, now she's posting her man after he passed away. Oh, was she trying to get attention? I want his name to live forever. I want everybody to know Meech and the good person that he was. Grief is a process. You're gonna have good days, you're gonna have bad days. But one thing I can tell you is that I'm never gonna leave your side. Good or bad, I'm always gonna be here for you. Love Thank you, baby. Babe. Thank you. I love you so much. Thank you, girl. My bestie. Oh, yeah. What are you doing after this? I have my makeup artist. She's gonna come and do my makeup. And I had to reveal my mom and my brother, my boobs and my fillers. Are you ready for that, girl? Girl, I ain't trying to hear my mom's mouth, but whatever. She's gonna see me regardless, so I'm gonna have to tell her. My family thinks that I'm crazy, I'm losing my mind. Every year is a different procedure. Every month I'm doing fillers. Hey babe, hey, how, how are, are you? you? Good, how are you? Good. And your skin looks fabulous yes. as always, Thank love you. it. I just came from getting fillers done. Really? Mm-hmm. I know, I know, and I got my boobs done, babe, so you know. Oh. So my mom and my brother's coming over and I have no clue that I got my whole face redone and they have no clue that I got my boobs done for the fourth time. Hey guys, hey mommy. Huh? Thank Hi, you for Nicole. coming. Hi, how are you? Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Hi bro. Sit down, sit down, sit down. I don't want you to see me right now. So I got my boobs done and I got more fillers in my face. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what do you think? I got my lips, my cheeks, my chin, everything done again. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Again? More cheeks. Why? I thought you said this was going to be the last time. I want to look like a Barbie. You look like a brat doll. That's exactly how I want to look. All right, bro, but like, <laughs> there's like a limit, you're passing it. You're like right there. I feel like this is how I cope. Like just getting fillers, tattoos, piercings. It makes me feel better. I understand, but I feel like you have to figure out another way of like coping. And I feel like you look fine and you shouldn't just be adding more to it. That's exactly what my makeup artist told me. You see? So it's not just me. I'm just not being annoying. I'm just telling you the truth. I feel like you have to think of all alternatives because at the end of the day, like if that, if any of your surgeries go wrong, you're gonna fall into a deep depression. She needs a doctor, yes or no? Yeah. Therapist? Yes. You need a therapist. Right away. Because it's, it's too much. It's 10, 11, I don't know how many. 11 surgeries. 11. That's not good. That's it. No more, please. Okay. I love you too much. All right, Ma, I'll think about it. I'll consider it. Maybe I do need a therapist on that route, you know? Um, but I love you too. Thank you for coming, Mommy. I love you so much. I know you I have to go. Baby. Michael, thank you, babe. All right, babe. I'll see no. you. Okay, be I'll... careful. Take care. I know, Mommy. Thank you, Mommy. I love you. Bye, guys. Yeah, I love you too, babe. They wasn't shocked once again, but I feel like they're kind of used to this at this point, you know? But I was more in shock than my mom told me. This. She sent me to a therapist. Like, she started to think I'm crazy because I'm doing all this. This is how, just how I cope. As of right now, this is how I cope, you know, grief of my man 
and this is this is just how I'm gonna be coping until I don't know when. Looking back, if I was to talk to my younger self, honestly, if you don't like how you look, just fix yourself. I don't think I'm gonna ever stop. So I feel like my next procedure that I'm gonna get is my hips and my butt done. Just because I feel like my boobs are big now and I feel like I have to match with my butt. I don't have no fear about getting old because I'm never gonna look old. If I get fixed the way I get fixed with surgeries and fillers, how you think when I start reaching 40, man, I'm gonna do double what I'm doing.